what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel so today instead of tying i wanted to talk to y'all about making your fly gear adaptive because there's really nothing out there on the market there's some some things out there for conventional gear but not so much for fly fishing gear so these are the few things i do to help me fly fish because to me, fly fishing is a lot easier casting-wise than it is with conventional, unless you're just dropping straight down to the bottom. I have my 7 weight, and one of the first things I did was I got some of these knuckleheads from Mad River Outfitters. This makes it bigger. It gives you more of a, a purchase on it, because like I've said, I can't grip. I, can't, I don't have any pinch, so that helps me reel in or fighting a fish and I have have one on my seven weight and my ten weight I gotta get one for my eight and my five but that makes a big difference instead of trying to grab onto a little bitty handle you have this foam piece that makes it a lot you know you can really get on there and crank on crank on it instead of your hand slipping trying to grab onto that little thing and if you've seen any of my previous fishing videos, you'll get a glimpse of these. These are just neoprene uh, wrist brace. I have one that I wrap over my hand up top here, so I'll get my hand wrapped around the rod, and then I'll have it wrapped to where it keeps my hand gripped onto the rod, and then I also put one on the back just to help stabilize it to where I can cast. I uh, have tried it without using the back one and being my wrist are really weak. It just it flops too much to get a good cast. So the knuckleheads and the wrist brace are a really big help. Fresh water, unless I was going after bigger fish, pike, muskie, salmon, steelhead, I would just stick with the wrist brace. Bass, brim, they don't pull hard enough. Sometimes casting the bigger flies, it puts a lot of torque on these and the Velcro will start to slip. But if that happens, then you can always use a hand size ace wrap. That's something I do with bigger fish or if I'm out on in salt water where I know the fish are gonna pull harder. I'm casting bigger flies, a heavier rod, I'll use the ace wrap and not only does it help keep my hand on the rod, but then it also helps with fighting a fish. If I hook into something that's gonna be pulling really hard, I don't want this to come undone and my rod go flying into the water. So with the ace wrap, again, I'll have the wrist brace on and then I just, I go over top of it lightly with the ace wrap and I also kind of make an X around the reel seat. So even if the wrist brace fails, then the rod cannot get pulled from my hand without the ace wrap coming undone. So that's really all that you can do, all I've seen anyway, for adaptive gear. Like I said, there's really, it's like fly tying there's really nothing on the market for fly fishing if you have a better way let me know this is just what works for me and i know i haven't explained it in any of my fishing videos but these are what helped me get out to fly fish without this i couldn't grip the rod i couldn't cast i'd have to try to kind of two-hand it and just flip it out it doesn't work all that well but the knucklehead, I can't remember when I got them. I have, like I said, I have one on my seven and my 10. I want to get one on my five and my eight. Cause it just, it gives you more, gives you something more to grab onto than just the little fly knob on the reels. So the knuckleheads really help out. And there's only a few times I've had a fish go to my reel on my five and my seven once with a trout and once with a little catfish and that was just because 
I got tired of trying to fight the line because when I'm fighting a fish, when I set the hook, I have to bite the line to where I can grab more and pull it down. And it, it's not ideal, but you got to do what you got to do. And like I said, with the wrist brace, casting heavy, heavier flies, bigger flies, salt water, you know, with like a 10 weight, there's a lot more weight on the tip of that rod with that line. This extra secure, not only is it extra security for fighting a fish, but it also helps keep your hand on the rod when you're doing it. Because I've had it where with like a bigger bass, bass bugs, uh, the Dahlberg diver, the torque of the rod will, the Velcro will start pulling off and makes it kind of annoying when you get a good cast and then you have to stop and reattach the Velcro. So this, that's just a few things I do. Uh, I know I haven't done any tie-in videos. Those will probably resume next spring unless uh, I really see something I like. It's hunting season has started, so going to be doing some hunting videos. We'll have a surprise that I will reveal, reveal here in Hopefully sooner than December. The expected delivery date is December, but hopefully it'll be sooner. So I'll have something for that. Then about two weeks, our muzzleloader season opens for deer, and I will be trying my best to film to film that. I'm still trying to figure it out with the GoPro, and eventually I'd like to get a better camera so y'all can actually see what's going on. But for adapting your fly gear to make it to where you can fish, that's really all you can do. Wrist brace, the knuckleheads. You could probably try one of the one of the brackets they make for con conventional gear. I don't know how well it would work because that stuff is usually pretty expensive. But you know you can get these at Walmart, fairly cheap. Like I said, I use two of them. And then the ace wrap, they're also cheap. But unless you're going to be throwing big flies, pike, muskie, redfish, bass, salmon, anything that's going to be pulling kind of harder, then, I mean, if you're just fishing for brim, these are fine. Even trout. I caught some really nice trout in Carolina, and that's all I used. But if you have, you have a better method then you know i'd be interested in here leave it down in the comments but this is what works for me and this is what i've done since since i started fly fishing again because i like to fly fish and to me it's easier than conventional like i said unless you're dropping straight down on a pier or a boat not you know I wouldn't say I catch a whole lot of fish, especially in a saltwater, freshwater, I'd do better, but it's the challenge of it. It's exciting, and when you finally do catch a fish, it's really re rewarding. But that's all I have for y'all today. Like I said, there's not a whole lot to it, so not a whole lot of video. But if you have a better method, leave it down in the comments, because I would be interested in hearing about it. And then y'all wait for the hunting videos to start. Hopefully, I'd like to say I'd like to get out and fish again, but I don't know if it's going to happen. But for the meantime, I hope y'all have a good day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I try to, try to give these instructional videos, even though they're not that great, for tying fishing and hopefully i'll have more hunting and fishing content coming up but like i said give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new or consider it it really helps out and then until next time i will see y'all later